Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can use and detect the pressing keys of this 5x4 20 key keypad, which has more than one character. Pay attention, we have F1 and we have escape, enter, and these upper and lower keys. So when you press it, it prints it on the serial monitor and you can use it for any other purpose you want. You see, when I press that, or if I press escape, or press enter, it can be detected. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. I have series of videos at different sizes for the keypad, but uh, I have never had any two number or two character on the keypad. And when I was searching online, I, I saw a lot of people have issue with this. So I thought I should create this video that this one has F1, F2. So it, it's not one character. So it's made of two characters. And here this is three or even up and down if you write it D-O-W-N. So it will be um, more than four characters. Enter will be even five characters if you put E-N-T-E-R. So I wrote the code. I uh, used the keypad library that I've used before, but I have added something on the code so it can detect multiple characters of string uh, with Arduino. And this can have a lot of application. For example, these four arrows can be used for controlling position of something, and also you can enter some value, and this can be used with a conjunction of a LCD. So you can enter some value and press enter, or maybe it can be used for security lock or something. Uh, installed somewhere of course you have to have some kind of to hold this securely but uh, this will have a lot of application please make sure to subscribe us i will have videos related to this with lcd and maybe for other application and perhaps also i'm gonna create an electronic door lock with this so you can enter the value and press enter this is the keypad it has long enough flexible connections. We have nine wires here because we have here four and five. So four plus five, nine. So, and on this side, we have adhesive. So you can remove this and attach it to something that you want. They're pretty nice when you touch it. It, it feels that it has been pressed. That is good. And also in terms of color, F1, F2 have been colored with yellow. These are red. And the main keyboard is this. I wish the up and down, low and right should have been arranged other ways. But because of the arrangement of keeping the main layout, they put it on that side. But that's also fine. So left, right, up and down, you can go like that. The width of this is 85 millimeter by 73.4 millimeters and the length of the cable is 96 millimeters. Let me explain the wiring. When you keep it like this, all the wires, they're just connected in the same order from pin 2 to pin 10. If you need wiring diagram for your project or something, it is available as part of my Arduino course at udemy.com. If you want to learn Arduino, I have a bestseller course on Udemy where you can learn Arduino from ground up with hundreds of projects, all course material, library, codes, wiring diagram, everything available in one place. The link for my Arduino course is below this video in the description. Now let me explain the code. You need to download this library if you haven't done so. So I will provide you the link for zip, download it and save it in your computer. And after that, click on file, include library, add .zip library, and then point it to where you have saved it. For example, if it was inside a download and this folder, select it as a zip, select the zip file and click open after that. Uh, then Close the Arduino, all instances, if you have multiple here, 
close them all and after that if you go on file example and scroll down you will see keypad and then under the keypad you will see all these examples I've taken one of the examples because it was just um, the main array so I modified it heavily and this variable is holding the number of rows and put here number of columns and then this array special keys inside the double quotation we have entered all the values for the key you can change them as you wish if you wish doesn't matter which size of the text that you want to put and here these are the actual key inside a single code we have instead of f1 and f2 and instead of this f1 f2 and all this to use a single character here i use a b and then the uh, this hash and then star is the same all the numbers are the same except any key this is up this is down this is left right and this is enter so i started with a b and then next c d e and then next row f g and h do not change them then these two rows and columns are holding the pen that you're defining pen two three four five six pay attention it doesn't go from seven it goes in reverse ten nine eight seven here inside the code that if you want to use it this is the code uh, that is and here if you want to use the key so it detects if the key is pressed this is the key that uh, is printing with C in serial monitor and here these are these are the values if you want to do something with when the key is pressed you can do it like this f key is equal let's say enter f key is pressed do something in between and so we can detect it like that and here i'm pressing now enter as you can see it reads it continuously because i did not put any delay and if you need full explanation of the code with everything it is available as part of my arduino course at udemy.com and here is a demonstration uh, when you run the code initially you just print this robojack 5x4 key i just moved it so you can see the other portion of the video better and here i'm pressing one two three four up sorry and then four five six and when i press this it is printing down so seven eight nine and then this will print escape multiple time you will see escape and then enter right here and then left star uh, hash and then asterisk this star is asterisk and then here this is up and then down so perfectly responding Thank you for watching this was a 5x4 or 20 key keypad with more than one character keys on the keypad if you learned something and found this useful please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of youtube if you have comment or question post it in the comment section below i try to answer and reply if you want to get updates of my upcoming videos make sure to subscribe star seven all of those will be fast but if you but also you can add delay between this uh, on the loop so if you have some delay of 100 milliseconds the user must wait a certain uh, amount of time before pressing the other one but i just put it in normal so you can change it accordingly for your application 
Thank you for watching. This was thank you for watching. So this was introduction to this four x four uh, black keypad.